the whoever is calling witnesses, they usually have to pay for expert witnesses to come in and testify. Yeah, it's a, yeah, okay. So that's part of that whole legal defense fund. Um, so, I mean, there is, from the feedback I'm getting, the court is definitely feeling the pressure. So it's good. <laughs> Yeah, this, this this is what we was thinking, man. It was like, wow, uh, all the council members, you know, it was just Miss Brown, who uh, I mean, I don't know, but from the documentary, that's what I was thinking. Like, it's only Miss Brown that's helping out. Uh, I really expected more of the council members to be, um, you know, be involved. But we we just saw you, so I was like, let me reach out to her and and, and see what's going on because you know we just want to raise money. You know, we just want to try to try to get them out and I understand like I've been in the court system myself and I know like if I have a lawyer who doesn't believe me or actually want to take the case you know uh, and fight the case the way uh, impartially you know without their own beliefs uh, you know it should be uh, I can't have that lawyer I got to find somebody so that's what we was trying to trying to figure out so you know we was hoping that he would have a jury, you know, a jury uh, trial, and we were trying to secure some some more money as well. We just needed some more information so we can help raise some money uh, because I know Question. there's some people who, you know, really do want to help. So that's what we wanted to find out uh, as of now. And I was like, you know, it's only Ms. Brown that's, that was in the documentary, so, you know, let's try to reach out to her and see um, how we can get these things done. Yeah, so I've been, I've been trying to raise a lot of local awareness to the situation for years now. Um, and I'm so glad that, that it's become uh, more well-known because it really is a tragic situation. Yes. Um, you know, it's, <laughs> I have to be careful about what I remark publicly because I don't want to do anything that could damage his case. Right. You know, in Texas, there is this obscure law that says even if you're a felon, if it has been more than five years since your last conviction and since the last time you completed all of your uh, duties to the court, so you're not on papers anymore, anything like that, it's been at least five years, you can't carry a gun outside in public you're allowed to have a gun in your own home for your own personal family safety. Mm -hmm. Really obscure law, but it really um, makes a difference in this case. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, there, there are a lot of things that, you know, you'll see locals that are in, listen, I, we have a good police department now. We really do. Um, and it's getting better and <laughs> I, I was just in a meeting, I pull our police chief in a meeting all the time when I get complaints about our department, and I'm like, eh, why am I getting complaints about this? Let's sit down and talk. And, you know, fortunately, it's been able to get a lot of stuff changed. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that, you know, we still need to, there, there was a wrong that was done. Um, and it needs to be corrected. Um, I don't know all the details of the case, and I'll be honest with you, you know, I, I don't. Uh, what I do believe is that Marvin deserves his day in court. Right. He deserves a fair trial, and he deserves representation by people who are going to fight for his life because it is literally his life on the floor. And, you know, if he doesn't go to trial, then we've got an officer family, a widow and their family, who don't get any closure, and that's not right either. Right, that's not, that's not. And, I'm sorry, ma'am, excuse me, I'm, oh, this I'm, my I'm wife. Michael Dunn's wife, I'm sorry. I just had a question as well, because we do have a, you know, a small YouTube channel, we're trying to get the word out to people. Is there certain people, we know the DA, Henry Garza, um, we want to tell people who they should call or reach out to in regards to this, but we don't want it to be the wrong people or we don't want it to make a problem for him while he's in prison. So no, we're we trying to, confrontation yeah, we're trying to see we if wanna... you could like lead us to, if we were telling our followers, Hey, let's call this people or reach out to this people, who would be the best people to call? 
So for me, we're well, advocating sorry people they should call. You can call him regardless. Of, that's that's just he's gonna do what he's gonna do. I figured that out. Right. Uh, Judge Gant, U A N T C. Judge Gant. Yeah. Judge Gant. Okay, we have his information too. I think I don't know if we have the right number. Do we have his number, babe? Um, we just have the uh, the five five one five number where you, you got to press six to try to. No, yeah, that's to uh, to, that's, to, that's, that's, to the that's about the only way to get through to him. That's the only way. Okay, so um, I would also suggest though that you start that people reach out to Ken Paxton. Ken Paxton. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we know Ken Paxton. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it couldn't hurt to reach out to the governor and the lieutenant governor. Okay, gotcha. So Greg Abbott and uh, Dan Patrick. Greg, Greg Abbott and Dan Patrick. Okay. Mm-hmm. And would would reaching out to other city council members? We saw that there are new city council members. Um, yeah, like there, everybody's new. Um, we saw 2021, there's a new city council and kind of like new um, state manager. Uh, a new mayor, uh, Jose Guerrero. Uh, Segura. Yeah. Should we reach out to them as well or would they not be able to really have anything to do with it? So um, at this point, the, the really frustrating part, yeah, I fought all these years to get on city council and now I'm here. And the frustrating part is I, there's nothing we can do gotcha. to affect the case. Gotcha. Uh, as it's at the DA's office, the only people who can do anything with it are going to be the DA, the judge, and anyone above them. Gotcha. DA, judge, and anybody above them. Okay. Yeah, so that's in regards that we can't get in touch with him. Okay. And, uh, so you said uh, uh, reaching out to probably the governor, Ken Paxton, and, and the judge, pretty much. Uh, judge Gaunt is where we need to go with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I would do. I'd do the governor, attorney, uh, or the <laughs> lieutenant governor, sorry. No worries. And uh, the judge. Because you can make all the calls to Henry Garza that you want to. We just need to find someone to run against him in 2024. Gotcha. So that's okay. the other work that I'd be putting out to people. You know, hey, our injustice system is the way it is because we have had the same county prosecutor and the same district attorney for at least 16 years now running wow. yeah. Yep. We saw That's that in Henry Girls yeah. out there. You said 2001. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, so, that lot. You know, we just need, we need people who actually care who are attorneys um, that are willing to step up and run for these positions and run against these people. Because I promise you, if either of them had an opponent, they would win. Like, the, the citizens around here are so fed up with Henry Garza. Wow. Yeah, that really sucks. That really sucks. But, this is what we I was mean, trying to find out. We made a bunch of calls. Yeah. And yeah. we were just trying to get in touch with somebody that could help us out. Right. Um, so, I mean, but I can tell you, like, I, I can tell you, I know how our, how our court system works in Bell County. I was arrested, actually, at a city council meeting. Wow. <laughs> for trying to speak to my city council members. After being invited up by a council member to speak, and after they let another citizen talk, so um, you know, I kind of stood stood my ground and wouldn't just go sit down and shut up when the mayor told me to, and it landed me in jail. Um, but it landed us with a whole new set of rules for our city council. So now it's mandated that everyone has to be allowed to have time to speak at the meeting to their elected officials. Good. Wow, That's just great. because of the law, wow. yeah. The law they yeah. can do that. That, that really sucks. But, so I spent two well <laughs> uh you guys are familiar with Brian Buckley then? I no. think, I don't know if we've heard of Brian Buckley. Oh. Okay, so he's another one you may want to talk to see if you can at least tell him listen, we 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 would like you to at least put the word out um, he's the District 54 State House Representative. Okay. Um, and then we are in State um, Senate District. I want to say the district number is 24, but it's Don Buckingham. Don Buckingham. Okay. Don Buckingham. I think I was in, in contact with uh, <laughs> Brad Buckley eventually. 
been arrested. I spent two years out on bond. Wow. Over a class B misdemeanor mm. of disturbing a meeting or procession. Um, and during that time, they gave me uh, between somewhere between eight and twelve different plea bargains, and I, you know, had to tell them each time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm bargain. innocent. I can't exactly. accept none of those things. What are you talking about? Uh, no, because I'm not guilty of anything. Yeah, so I'm exactly. not innocent. Take yeah. bargain. Go ahead, get a get a jury of twelve my peers. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, tell them the facts. Exactly. And, you know, if they find me guilty, guess what? It doesn't matter because I've already got time served. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's the only. You know. <laughs> but um, no, it was. So it took them almost two years. Almost two years before they dismissed my case. Wow. It was one month shy. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's um, we hate that that happened to you. And well, you know, it, but. Uh, it, it changed things, and mm -hmm. it gave me a lot of insight into how our court system is working here. Yeah. And you know that gives me that gives me the ability to be able to tell people this is this is who does this, and this is who does that, and this is how it operates. And and so I'm thankful for that. That I could have gone my entire life without ever spending a night in jail. Right. Yeah. And without but, knowing what people are going through when it comes to fighting because te Texas is oh my gosh that's why we left it the it's awful <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we're gonna make it better we're gonna make it better nice we're gonna make it a new Texas good that's that's what we like to hear yeah, that sounds great. Are, are you okay <laughs> with us um sharing this if not no worries we'll just share the information that you gave us um we um we just trying to you know we definitely just trying to get the word out yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't ever say anything that I wouldn't say to a person or okay. in front of a person. I always assume, by the way, if I'm on a call that I'm being recorded. Okay. So it's pretty stupid of me to say anything because honestly, like you don't, if I, I could say no and you could share it anyway, there's nothing I could do. But um, like I understand that, but I'm, I'm open and I'm transparent and if you ask a question directly to me you deserve a straight answer and that's the way it should be from our officials yeah we yes. appreciate thank that thank you so much and thank you for what you're doing with this case and um, going on the documentary and you were you were literally the only city council member right. we saw is there anybody else that's, that's helping you out that's, that's on the council because it looked like everybody got voted in late 2020 yeah it looks like a new part. city council pretty much uh yeah so I, i've been i've been trying to help marvin since i just came on the council in november of 2020 mm -hmm. um so i've been trying to help them since long before that but um the best that i know of now, none of the other council members are willing to publicly come out and say anything it, honestly and i knew this when i did the documentary um, you know, this, this could be the end of my political career, but oh, if, if it helps, if it brings light to the situation, then that's, that's what I'm willing to, um, that's what I'm willing to do. Wow. Well, you oh, thank God for you. Thank you God know, for we you. We won't man. do anything to wow. hamper you in your <laughs> travel or, or make it any worse because you already did a whole lot. Uh, that's for sure. Um, if anything, we need um, more council members like you. Yeah, because I'm looking at the council <laughs> members. I'm like, it's majority uh, a bunch of black people there. Yeah, that made and us disappointed that none of the, them are coming that out. Nobody's to help. saying nothing. It's it's the the one Miss Brown with the blackest name. My mom's last name is mine Brown. too. <laughs> so and, yeah, and, and, uh, let's just let's okay. We'll put it in plain language the way everybody says when they see that, and then when they see our council, yeah. Is that, Six black council members and one white girl. Yeah, you know? well, you're doing the most. You're doing yeah. the most, and, and we salute to you, sister. Yeah, yeah I, I'm going to be honest. I can't believe that there's actually that many black council members in Colleen. I don't know if this is new. That don't have your back. Um, first yeah. time in history. That's first what I thought. I was like, this has to be new, because there's no way. I don't remember this ever So in Texas. So, this, okay, yeah. first time. 
So they're probably terrified that if they say anything that they're not going to be council members anymore. But I'm I'm kind of disappointed. That's, yeah, that's no that excuse. They're not speaking that's no out. excuse at all. Yeah, I don't I don't know um, what their position is. We're there's certain you know we have rules about quorums and walking quorums and discussing things with right. council members. Um, I'm really cautious about that. So I, yeah, the last thing I want to do is end up in a situation where I'm, I'm not an ethical line. Right. Mm. So it's not really anything that I've discussed with them. Um, you know, it's, it, they're, they have to tread their own path. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, I made my path. I know what my risks are. But like I said earlier, there are two families that that needs the resolution, you know. Yeah. So Marvin needs to be able to have his day in court. It, it's his constitutional right. So I don't care who it is. Yeah. yeah. The constitutional right. If he um, found guilty, I mean, he's guilty, but it don't seem like it. Yeah. It, it go yeah. to court, you know. I don't know facts the case. If he's guilty, he's guilty, but he still needs to be able to go to court. Yeah, exactly. he needs to be able to go to yeah. court. And usually when they try to cover up things and stop you from going to court, it's because the evidence proves otherwise, and they just don't want that out most of the time. So, I mean, allegedly is what we have allegedly, to say. Yeah, for <laughs> right. right. So, but regardless, you know, he deserves his day in court. That's right. And mm. on the side of that, you know, the, the family of uh, Officer Dinwiddie needs resolution. They need to know yeah, well. they need to know the truth. Yeah. We need to see the, right. that bullet that actually killed him. Yeah. And where does that bullet, what gun does that match up to? Yeah, that's well, right. They need the closure of knowing that this is, you know, this has been presented and facts have been laid out. Yeah. Um, and, and I think for everyone's sake, it just, it needs, it needs to go to court. Yeah. You know, no other way around it. There's no other way to say it. Yeah. Right. And thank you so much for all the information and the people that, you know, we can speak to and talking to us because we appreciate it because we want to use our channel for anything to help, especially since, you know, we we understand being in the system. So we definitely want to help him as much as we can. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate you helping out and trying to get that word out. As of um, right now, is there um, uh, any jury cases going on? Because I, I saw something about the judge wanting to go to trial, but there wasn't a jury because of COVID-19. So... Uh, are they are not doing jury cases right now or yeah like uh you know 11 12 they resumed some of the jury trials the issue that that there is in a capital murder case is the number of jurors that they need to pull from so for your your average like misdemeanor or felony case you're going to have maybe 100 or 200 jurors that got pulled for a capital murder case, you're gonna have closer to a thousand uh, jurors, potential jurors that get pulled. Okay. Gotcha. And it's it's the spacing of it. Now there are ways around it. There are things that can be done to get around that and still space people out. It's just a matter of it wants and will and if you know, um, not can or could or anything like that. Gotcha. Okay. All right, that's just like if they actually want to do it, then they'll do it. So, okay. Yeah, All right, I got you. People. Yeah, but I, I told you earlier, he just he was just able to secure private uh, attorney, thank God. Attorneys. Um, so, what they're doing is, you know, of course, they need time to review all the evidence and the discovery and go through that. Um, and there's some additional discovery that they have they've asked for that they're looking to get. So, um, you know, he knew going into the, his decision that what he was looking at, that, you know, he decided to to get this new private attorney, that there would be an additional delay. Right. And I would rather have an additional delay and know that somebody is working, working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Me yeah. Exactly. And not paid by the state. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you so, so much. We appreciate it. And if there's anything else we can do to help, we're we're happy to do it. And we are going to get the word out and try to keep eyes on this case. Right, we're on the change.org. We're on the GoFundMe. And we're definitely we're sharing it with it. our platform. So thank you so much for this. We appreciate it. And we'll make sure it. you don't you have no yeah. trouble, no issues. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 nothing added. Yeah. 
I appreciate that, y'all. You have a great day. You have to get going. Dad, to get to okay. our council meeting. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you much. Have Ms. a great Brown. day. All right. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.